for those of you that were out of the room when we were talking about one of the reasons why this product holds up so well, uh, the acrylic resin base coat that we use, it's a, it's a water-based uh, paint, if you want to call it that. Uh, but one of the benefits to it is as it actually gets wet in a normal rain cycle and then re-dries, it actually cures stronger each time. The question was raised about how durable the surface is, um, how durable the coating is. And this one here, if you can see, I've been bending it for the last 10 minutes or so. Because of the product that we use to bond this to the steel, you'll likely shear this metal by, by creasing it back and forth before you'll crack the coating and cause that to split. Anybody got gloves on and want to try to fold it up? One of the other benefits to this product is, unlike comp shingles, in the summertime, have you ever walked on a shingle roof in the summertime? And it sort of all slips and scuffs up underneath you. Um, with this product, everything that's baked into this product is there to stay, okay? It's, it's gonna be critical to wear gloves. We got a lot of seasoned guys that say, oh, I don't need to wear gloves. I've got calluses and tough hands. It'll shred them right off. I mean, it'll literally take the soles of your shoes off. I don't know how much Walt values his floor. I could put this down on the ground and you know, contractors will actually take a panel of this as they're selling it in home. They'll cut one in half. That way they can show their customer how they hook top and bottom. They can also give them an idea of how they lap side to side. Um, and they certainly wouldn't do it at the kitchen room table, but in the garage or in the street, they might put it down on the ground and, and, and kick it and let them scuff it just to see how durable the coating is. Um, you might crease some of these pads or put some dents in here by doing that. Uh, but because there's so much texture in the shape and the, in the chip pattern, the shadow pattern that's in here, once you get a few feet back off of that mark, you'll never even know that it might be dimpled right there. Um, so it's a, it's a really great product for working on top of. Um, obviously, as you're walking around the roof, you want to, you know, due diligence. And you don't want to go around just beating it with your hammer for the sake of beating it with your hammer. Uh, but if you happen to drop your hammer on it and it stuffs it up a little bit, you know, you're, you're going to be okay.